Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you to, for joining us today for Kids Times. Now many of you uh, have cars, right? Your mother and father have cars and when you are riding in the car you have many things to be safe, right? We have the belt here, your father's driving slow, he's not driving crazy like this and we also have something called an airbag. So airbag is in the front of the car and when the car is going and it hits, boom, another car, inside the car, the airbag comes out and it's like a big pillow, it's like a bubble, right? So it's very soft and we can put our head on it. Um, so airbag, it can save your life, right? Without an airbag, you can die, right? So driving a car is convenient. Right? It's very, very comfortable, it's easy, it's very relaxing to drive, right? However, it is sometimes dangerous. We can die, we can get hurt, other people can get hurt. When a car hits another car, for example, an airbag, an airbag inflates. It gets up like this, the air comes out, to protect the driver, to protect or to boho the driver. How does the airbag save the driver. How does this airbag come from this small thing and it suddenly inflates or it gets this big? How does it do that? When you blow a balloon, right? We're blowing the balloon. The air from your mouth, there's air inside our lungs and our mouth. It takes up the space inside the balloon. So what we're saying here is the air from here, it goes through our mouth and it is taking up the space and it is uh, moving into the balloon, right? The air goes from here into the balloon. This means the air has volume. That means that air uh, has space. If we put too much air in a balloon, what will happen? The balloon will blow up, right? So that means that air has uh, you know, a space. It takes up a kongan, right? The air. Like this, the air inside the airbag has volume and takes up space between the car and the driver. So the same thing, right? This is a balloon. Think of it like a balloon and the air from outside, it's, it takes up and is going inside this airbag and it is coming between you and, and the steering wheel. It's coming between it. It's high air, right? So it's going to protect you. Then, where does the air come from? An airbag has a substance that creates nitrogen. So a substance is like a hogmer and this powder it makes nitrogen. Nitrogen is a very very sort of common gas, right? It's we have oxygen and carbon dioxide and we have another one called nitrogen. It's, a, it's just a gas that we breathe. If a car gets crushed and gets a spark, so the car is getting crushed and there's a spark, right? There's an accident. It makes the substance active. right? So it, it activates and the nitrogen is created. So this substance, once there's a spark, it goes up and it makes air. It makes ox uh, nitrogen. Next, the nitrogen air fills the airbag and becomes a buffer. Buffer is sort of like a protection, right? So this is the steering wheel and the head. If the head hits the steering wheel, it's very dangerous and you can die and you can bleed. However, this airbag, it's inside, is what, what gas is inside? There's nitrogen gas inside and it is a buffer. It's like a cushion, right? It blocks it. All right, we have three key review questions here. A, an airbag inflates to blank the driver. So this is the airbag here, and what's the airbag's job? Do we want to hurt the driver? Do we want to kill the driver? No, we want to make the driver safe. We want to protect the driver. Protect means to keep something safe. So if something dangerous is coming, then we will protect it and we will be safe, right? It's sort of blocking and keeping us healthy, keeping us safe. B. The air from your mouth blank up the space inside the balloon. So we're talking about when we're blowing the balloon, right? So the air from our body, 
and from our mouth it's moving and is going into the balloon right the air is moving it is we say taking up the space it takes up the space so takes up space means how big is something all right so for example what animal takes up more space does an elephant take up more space or does a hamster take up more space well of course it's the elephant it takes more space because it's bigger right so we're saying that the air the balloon is very small but when it takes space it's getting making it bigger right it's taking away the space C an airbag has a substance that blank nitrogen so this substance this sort of powder right um, when there's a spark or when there's a signal that there is an accident they have sensors and when the sensor hits something then this substance it will change or it will start to make nitrogen all right so to make we say to create so who created the Hangul language system you know King Sejong who created you your mother and father created you they made you this substance this sort of powder it makes nitrogen gas right very quickly all right so we have three key sort of grammar points here a driving is blank so driving is when we're doing like this right so these words convenient we're going to say purely right so well, stay with me convenience here is the noun form of 편리 so we say 편리 편리하다 편리하게 right so this is the noun this is the adjective 형용사 and this is the adverb right so we want to use an adjective because this here is a gerund actually it's a noun we use it as a noun so when we are talking about a noun let's say a cat we use an adjective, 형용사, 꾸미는 말, right? We say black cat, big cat, lazy cat, right? So we want to use the same thing. Driving is the noun, and the adjective here is convenient. 운전하는 게 편리하다, right? Adjective, 꾸미는 말 here. So B, the air inside the airbag takes up space between the car, blank, the driver. So we have two things here, the car, the steering wheel is over here, and we have the driver is over here, and the, the airbag is between, right? So it is between the driver and the steering wheel or the car. So we say and. When we're using the preposition or you know where something is, between, on, under, in, next to, we for the word between we say and right so between my hand my left hand and my right hand is my face right so we say left hand and right hand between them is my face C if a car gets crushed and gets a spark it makes a substance blank so again we have sort of action actions and nouns and adverbs over here active it's an adjective right 활동, 활동적 action is a noun 활동 and actively it means 활동적으로 right so this is an adjective noun an adverb so this substance here we want to make it this is the noun here substance is this 화학물 right it's it's a brugon right it's a myongsa this substance here right so again when we're talking about a myongsa we need a 꾸미는 말 we need an adjective we need a 형용사 right so the word here is active so this substance 활동적이다 right so this active here means adjective it's talking about a noun so a noun will be the athlete Park Ji Sung is active my friend is active and uh, rabbits are active so when we're talking about a noun here this myongsa we need an adjective here all right so to review convenience we're talking about 편리 right 편리하다 편리 편리스럽게 
And next one, when we're talking about between, we use and. So between my left hand and my right hand is my face. And again, active, action, actively. Active is the adjective. Action, 활동 is the noun. And actively is the adverb. All right. So next time you go on your car rides, really try to pay attention what is there to make you safe, right? Is it only the airbag? No, there's many other things. There's sensors everywhere, there's seatbelts everywhere. So really, let's everyone try to have a safe ride, all right? Thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name's Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.